Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. This portion is brought to you by Dual Outdoors and by Delta Ag, healthier plants, healthier game. Big white tails. Ask any hunter what they dream about in the nights, the days, the weeks before the season starts, and you'll hear those two simple words. Now to grow big white tails, there's a simple recipe. You need good genetics, ample nutrients, water, and a whole lot of patience. It's that last part that seems to be the downfall of most hunters, but to grow them big, you've got to let them age. You also need to ensure that the herd has a varied palate of nutrition to maintain their health year round. Supplemental feeders and food plots do the trick. And this not only serves the wildlife, but the hunter as well. Food plot hunting creates a lot of its own challenges and unique situations. Um, there's no perfect place to ever set up on a food plot. I'm convinced because there's so many different ways that a, a game animal can get into that food plot unless it's really small. When you're hunting a big food plot, you really need good optics to be able to study long distances around you and be able to, to, to see what's coming in and study back in the trees for some of that movement because a lot of times that big mature buck, he's going to be the last guy to show up to the party on that food plot. While you never really want to put a lot of hunting pressure at the food source, if you're chasing the deer of a lifetime, it sure is a great place to start. Heading out into the field at the Nooner Ranch, we'll join Bill McWright in an elevated blind overlooking a large food plot. I've hunted since I was five years old and I killed my first deer when I was five and I just love the rush, the adrenaline rush and it's just exciting. You never know what, what might happen, what, how big of a deer you're going to see and it's just a lot of fun to come out here. Bill is hunting with Nooner Ranch guide Cody Prazel and they're overlooking a large fenced in food plot with removable partitions that allow the ranch to control wildlife access. In the early stages, the fences stay up to allow the plants a chance to grow. Then as the plot matures, fencing is removed. Bill and Cody were able to glass some deer on the far side of the plot with their Nikon optics, but the whitetails seemed to be wary and stayed in the shadows of the heavy cover until the sun fell down behind the horizon. Now, as expected, movement increased in the waning light, and Bill was able to look at several young bucks, but he suddenly got excited when he caught a fleeting glimpse of a big, mature whitetail just as the sky faded to black. It's worth noting at this point that the lush green food plot we've been looking at was not always so lush and green. In 2009, Bill's uncle, Delta Ag's Johnny McWright, hunted this very same plot. And while he was there, he worked with the ranch on developing a strategy to reclaim the soil and reap a healthier bounty. This fall, we applied Delta Ag Soil Solution. Now what that product does is when we put it out, we're gonna incorporate it into the ground and it actually feeds your bacteria because you know when we plow ground you're exposed that's a lot of that bacteria to the to the air and you kill it actually so with soil solution we're feeding that bacteria that's in the soil and getting it you know back in a healthy healthy soil condition okay and it's also helping to digest that old crop residue it's going to help release nutrients to those plants okay so it's had plenty of time to work that okay and we're at about four months now since we put our soil solution out Today, we're going in and we're going to run seed coat, okay, with our seed and along with our inoculant, okay. And what that's going to do is the seed coat, we're actually treating that soil around the seed, not doing anything to the seed, so that when that seed germinates, we're giving that plant more energy to get up out of the ground faster, develop a better root system on the plant, as well as seed coat eliminates what we refer to in agriculture as the lag phase. Now the lag phase is the period of time when that plant comes up out of the ground and it'll sit there oftentimes for a few days before it starts photosynthesis and really gets to growing off and, and, and growing, okay? And it's at that time that that plant is very susceptible to stress and disease. So by using seed coat, we can eliminate that stress period and get that plant up and growing and get it off to a better start. So whether you're working a big plot of land or a small corner on the family lease, we encourage you to visit Delta Ag's website for a wealth of information on starting and maintaining a food plot that fits your needs.
Getting back to the hunt, the next morning, a heavy fog settled in as Cody and Bill slipped into a box blind. Even with the limited visibility, the hunters were able to make out the telltale signs of a big deer in the mist ahead. Well, uh, we saw this nice buck this morning, and uh, it was real foggy. We couldn't get a real good look at him. And we knew he was a good deer, but we, we thought we might want to wait and see if we get a better deer later on because it's still early in the hunt. When the deer walked off, we started second guessing our decision. Maybe we, we should have maybe tried to take one of those deer. We, sat, we stayed in the blind until 10 o'clock and we didn't see a deer for three hours. Well, we passed on a really good deer this morning. Uh, it was a real nice deer. It came out early, it was real foggy. We decided that we weren't gonna take him. We were gonna wait, see what else we saw. Ended up not seeing anything else. So I know Bill really liked the deer. He was pretty excited whenever we saw him. And yeah, it was a pretty good deer. Just see what else we can see. Wait till this afternoon, I guess. Yeah, so we're gonna come back this afternoon and give it a try, and I think we'll have luck and we'll be able to take the deer. Heading back to the lodge, Bill and Cody picked up an early lunch and a little rest before returning to the same blind that afternoon. While we're here, we should let you know that the Nooner Ranch is booking hunts for the 2011 season. If you're looking to hunt big whitetails, give Sammy or Gina a call at 210-508-0113 or look them up at NoonerRanch.com. After settling in, Cody picked up some new movement in the brush and reached for his Nikon binoculars. A handful of does were acting nervous and looking back, deeper into the thick cover. It only took a few seconds before a big buck stepped into view. Although impressive, this buck was not fully mature and therefore off the list. But it was certainly a good start to the hunt.